Welcome back to the SPA channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna to be checking out some underground supercar and hypercar garages scattered around Los Angeles, Beverly Hills, and we're gonna be hopping in the trusty and the most efficient car on the channel, the Tesla, because gas prices are right now still pretty high in SoCal and especially California. That being said, without further ado, Beverly Hills, here we come. That's really bad. You know what, you know what else is bad, Max? This Aston Martin van in, in tone blue. That's pretty bad. Whoa. The duality of nature. Classy versus classless. Not C63S. Uh, are you sure about that? Doesn't get any better because we got a marble slab of a truck at the SLS Hotel. Um, Check out the 812 GTS in matte green with the yellow accents, the yellow striping, and the yellow calipers. Apparently, this is all factory. The yellow stripe kind of works too, and it's got a matching interior. That is pretty nice. God, look at the carbon fiber. Oh, check this out. Not only is the Tesla looking pretty nice, pretty clean, look at all the red zones. Look, 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 look. One, two, three four five six seven we got one over here of course this red zone makes sense but all those little red zones near the uh entry and exit points on the curbs are you kidding me that is some los angeles shit we got the ultimate roadster one of 250 we believe matte black that's pretty sick unfortunately the front lift is up now before we continue with today's video hunting for the craziest most hidden and perhaps some abandoned supercars and hypercars of SoCal, I want to thank today's sponsor, Upside. Upside is an incredibly easy app to use when you dine out, buy groceries, and most importantly for a car channel, buying gas. As you know, gas prices here in SoCal are at an all-time high, much higher than that of most other states in the nation, especially when you're driving the S600 with a $12,000 exhaust with a 26 and a half gallon tank. So when you use Upside, you're gonna get a little bit of cash back with each purchase. I'm gonna show you exactly how that all goes down, starting with a cold start. <laughs> Upside is super easy to use and it isn't. All you have to do is claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. For example, I need to fill up the Mercedes because the tank is absolutely empty. So I go to the app, click on a gas station and click check in. Pay as usual with a credit card or debit card and get paid. You can cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week and it's got a 4.8 rating on the app store. Woo! Save some money from Upside, got the tank full, the car is sounding beautiful. I'm gonna turn her off, spool her down, but ladies and gentlemen, support the channel, hook yourselves up, and get started by downloading the free Upside app at the App Store or Google Play. Use the promo code FSPOT, it's gonna pop up right over here, and you're gonna get $5 or more on cash back with your first purchase of $10 or more. As you know, we've been having some demonetization issues, it's getting a little crazy. I can't even post some of the crazy stuff that I see. But with sponsors like Upside, they're supporting the channel and they're going to hook you guys up and save some money. That being said, let's head out back to the Tesla and do a little supercar and underground car spawn. This is a Shostakovich car right here. Now this is a Mitsubishi Myvek Evolution and a Spada in blue. This brown Porsche is new as well. That thing's new as well. There's this, this entire lineup is changing all the time. A Spada in the flesh. Got some replica cobras over there these are the rental cars over here black impala all the way down there pretty sick those have risen in value like crazy it's got the classic sports car magazine and some microfibers in the trunk of the espada as you would that's pretty sick wow oh by the way my paper plate on the tesla has flown off so i don't know what to do anymore clk black series here that is super sick. The wide fenders, these definitely jumped in prices. 6.3 liter. We got the 355 race car over here. Manual. What is this Ferrari again? I think it's a 365. 365. 365. Got it. But this thing, man, that is so sick. You throw on the right exhaust on these 355 Challenge race cars, it is literally game over, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Carbon fiber wing. Wow. 
LT. Check out this STO, the spec on the STO. Dark blue with the red accents. $5.99 next to an old Bentley. That was not here a while back. We got all the contemplated cars here. I think they're all Qatari contemplated cars uh, hiding in the shadows here at the lower level of a random parking structure. But yeah, we just drove in here one day and bam, there they all are hiding in the shadows. This guy usually has an SVJ or like some sort of Rolls Royce, but he's got the Testarossa today. This is why you have to check every single parking garage in the vicinity of Beverly Hills or anywhere in Los Angeles. The storage area for Aston Martin Beverly Hills. Check out the spec on the DBX. You got the DBX Superleggeras, V12s. Nice. Nice, nice. Cool spec. Dude, look at that tint on the side. Oh my gosh. 5% tint and no tint on the front, dude. That's the way to do it. And you got this DBX. That actually looks pretty good. This matte green. A lot of matte colors on these Astons. All right, check this out. So a lot of the Lucid Air or those first editions are on this rooftop parking lot. I don't know if these are customer cars or future deliveries. Some of them are covered up in, uh, hmm. If you're wondering where your uh, Lucid Airs are, they're right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Got the mobile service van. Got a, got a couple dusty Bentleys and Rolls Royces here. I think this is their overflow lot for their service center. Some, ooh, that one's on interesting wheels. Oh, you can't see it. A little dusty. Very dusty. It's got white wall wheels on that thing. A lot of front lifts are up here as well. Um, hmm. That's right, McLarens. What else can be said about them? Reliability issues? Not great. Check out the color on this McLaren SLR. What kind of kit is on this? We got the Sabre here and a Senna. Whoa. I've never seen this car before. What's going on with the rear tail light here? Huh. Does anyone know what kind of kit is on this SLR? I've never seen this car in my entire life in this particular color. Is it paint? Is it wrapped? Jeez. That's crazy. Wow. Viewers of this channel know that in one of my videos of the abandoned supercars of Los Angeles, there was a Rolls Royce and a Range Rover and they're dusty, left there for months, probably years, and now they're gone. So, huh, who would have thought? They finally moved them or they got impounded, who knows? Whoa, we got the old school Defenders here and an old GMC truck. Oh, all right, that's cool. Worst dot spec with the 5% tints. The, I don't think it's a carbon fiber on the hood, maybe like a wrapped hood with the red wheels and the Italian flag. 456 Ferrari here, Corvette. A couple Carreras and ooh, a 500 SEL with the plate Nice or Vice AMG. DB9 and I'm not sure what that is on the end there. The further you go down in some of these underground garages, the dankier it smells and the wetter it smells. It smells like a wet towel or a beach towel that's been left out in the sun or by the pool for way too long. Good plate on the SL500 R129 reset. There, the white wall tires really keeping this thing classy. Dusty Senna, what was that, an Elva? Oh, wow. Yep, Elva, speed tail looking a little dusty. Chiron, is that a Super Sport? No, two cents in the back there. Looks a little dusty. Oh, another Elva SVJ. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. 
So that sheer one's been here before, right? That's the exposed carbon fiber one. Got a dark maroon Elva, orange speed tail, another Elva, and two Senna's in the back there, and then SVJ. Aston Vantage with a ski rack. What the heck? I wonder if it's like a special edition or something, you know? It does. Pretty sick. Boom. There you guys have it. Corvette. A lot of Astons. G Wagons. DBS Super Legera. Yeah, there's a yellow Lafari down there last time. Good color on the Vantage over there. Regonda looking a little sad. Yeah, look at this Tusk on the center. Abandoned. Same with the Chiron. It's been there for like, oh, six to eight months at least. That's insane. Goodness gracious. Maybe it's just broken. I have no idea. I forget which edition. Maybe not the Mexico edition, but it was some special edition. Yeah, I think I see the British flag on the back. I think. Holy crap. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Someone's got to drive these cars, man. This is a sad sight, especially that Chiron. We, will, we would love to see that on public roads. I think maybe we got to pick up a Porsche or a Porsche for the channel. Look, we're getting into the garages. Nathan's picking up girls left and right. This is insane. <laughs> you don't get that with the Lambo or any of the other cars at all. You got to be kidding me. Yellow Porsche. Yellow Porsche, bright color. People just, they love it. Anyways. Golden ticket. The golden ticket. Let's get out of here. Dude, check this out. We're at the Costco gas center here. What is going on? I feel like I'm at an amusement park with these cones and these barriers. What in the world? This place must get insanely busy in the daytime, but we're here nearly after hours, right about where they're about to close. So the lines, eh, it's not too bad. I've never seen anything quite like this. There it is, ticked over. 34,000 miles in the Super Legera. It's getting up there, guys, but you know what? Smiles per gallon, as long as you're having fun and entertaining everyone around you, that's what it's all about, baby. Life is definitely too short to not drive a car. Maybe someone just broke down? Yeah, uh, no, it looked like a uh, fender, fender bender, maybe? Yeah. Minor. Oh! Oh! oh. Three car. Co oh, no! Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, yikes! Oh.